watching out for you. Not a bad evening commute for a Friday. Take a look at this. Uh, what a difference from 24 hours ago, but traffic smowing, uh, moving smoothly on almost all the interstates in and around Portland. That is not the case when you get to those side streets. There's been no new snow for 36 hours, yet roads in and around Portland are still iced over, including downtown here. Yeah, I mean, I almost slipped on some yeah. ice just taking a walk that would normally be an easy one earlier today. And with that, we know you want to know, and COIN wants to know, if anything could have been handled differently, all to make this historic storm less of a disaster. Now to Brandon Thompson here with us, asking city and state leaders about when will our roads be clear? Yeah, so there's a lot of passing the buck to the forecast, but they say there is progress. The sun is helping, but in the shady areas, it's just not been warm enough for the inches of ice that are crusting over a lot of roads in the metro area. And with the potential for more snow, I wanted to know if PBOT or ODOT thought anything could have been differently over the past few days. A day and a half since snow stopped falling. A lot of freezing uh, roads out there, big packed ice. Uh, or some compact snow that's turned into ice. We wanted to know, could ODOT or PBOT have handled it better? I think they responded the best they could with the resources they had and the information they had going into it. Did you think the Oregon Department of Transportation got out ahead of this adequately? I think they would have if we'd had a better forecast. I mean, the reality is when the roads are wet, you can't put the DA so down. And, you know, we'll have plenty of time for figuring out if we could have done things differently. One thing other states do different, their plows scrape the snow and ice, putting plows on or as close to the pavement as they can. ODOT and PBOT both say their plows quote unquote skim the top with plows a quarter or half inch above the ground. I reached out to other states. In Colorado, they scrape down to the pavement. That state says it costs more, but quote, improves safety for the traveling public. Given the historic nature of the storm, would it be worth scraping and getting underneath the ice? That's where you start to damage the road. That's where you start to damage the plows. No. The potential for more snow is in Portland's near future. We have two to three inches of snow on top of this, of these ice blocks. It's going to be near impossible to move. Is there anything differently that ODOT should do heading into the next snowstorm? We need to make sure that when the precipitation starts that we stay ahead of it. That means that we get out there with all of our tools, with the salt, with the sand, with the plows and the de-icer, and that we stay ahead of it. So Hamilton says ODOT's staffing shortages did play a role in this storm, not getting to as many places as their equipment would allow otherwise. They've been talking about for the a few months. Now, I got to admit, I'm still stuck on this skimming versus scraping when it mm -hmm. comes to snow removal. You get a half inch of ice that's left on the roads. Dan made the point at four o'clock that that rubber really just kind of polishes it like an ice ring. Additional yeah. context, you're from Colorado, and so you were saying that you haven't seen that, that it gets right down to the pavement from what you've always oh, seen. Oh, yeah. The sound of scraping plows is just across my childhood yeah. memories you see the sparks <laughs> come up from the pavement and also Natasha just made the point you got studded tires out there tearing up the roads anyway yeah too. and this whole point about ODOT versus Washington dot Washington mm -hmm. if you traveled from Vancouver their roads were clear the freeways you crossed into Oregon boom it wasn't mm -hmm. so what were they doing different that ODOT wasn't doing but you said some staffing issues, some other things. Hopefully they'll get together after this so this doesn't happen again where we have a situation like this. That's right. Brandon, Thanks, Brandon. thank you. Natasha's